Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be answering a reader's question from YouTube. Pretty good question asking about how should a blue collared worker dress. In a sense, it sounds like he's going out and they're selling product. He's working at a stand and him and his family, they do this. They enjoy being close to nature. On the other hand, how much does clothing portray in, in a sense when you're a vendor, when you're a blue collar worker. So, that's what we're going to be covering. But before I get into that guys, I would appreciate it if you would like this video and if you've got something to add, go down there in the comments, leave me, you know, give me some feedback. Say, Antonio, I don't want you talking about this. This isn't why I subscribed or Antonio, I like where you're going with the channel. Please continue to do videos like this. Guys, I'm listening to you, trying to get better and as you can see, I actually uh, take your guys' comments. So, the comment that came in is from Brent and he's saying, my family and I, we have a small family farm. Now, we sell beef, pork, eggs and we go to Blacksburg, Virginia. Now, they've got certain hats it looks like that they wear as a family. There are these work hats and they've kind of built a little bit of a reputation as you know, a hard working family. They're, they're selling their wares and they're enjoying this and they're trying to teach some great skills to their family. But how does clothing portray in this? What does it really matter what we wear? Okay, so imagine if you go off and so I got a little bit of experience with this living in Ukraine, we would see vendors all the time selling on the street and they would be selling meat. I remember the meat because it was sitting out there in the sun and I could swear that there were bees on this meat. And I'm just looking at this and I'm like, are they selling this for human consumption? I, I'm sorry, that was my and I know that there are many parts of the world that this is normal. I, I've traveled, I've been around to you know many places in the Middle East, I've been to parts of Africa. I've seen this before but I would have to say that as a American, like used to things being wrapped up, that appearance that they're in that plastic, that they are packaged, that they're refrigerated, all of this at least sends the message to me that this is not going to have things in it that are growing bacteria that are going to kill me. And that's the point I'm getting at is you want to dress in a manner that you send the signal of trust. So, if you're a butcher, I expect you to have on a white apron, to maybe have a blue collared shirt on uh, for you to be covered. Uh, in a sense, that, yeah, you're going to have maybe a little bit of blood spattered on the front of you but you're going to have everything out there. It's going to be cool inside there and you're going to be professional. Um, if you're someone working with meats in the back, you've got a hairnet on because you don't want hair to fall into the food. These are things which I'm looking for and it's, I take it for granted living in a country in which some of that is required by the law but I can tell you that if I was out there and I see a vendor who has their kids back there and they're sneezing, uh, they're coughing on the food, uh, they look like they're just wearing a t-shirt and there's like, I mean just stuff all over this and it looks like they haven't changed. They were maybe out working in the back, they got dirt and then they're handling food. I can tell you immediately trust factor goes down. So, the key for a blue collared worker is understand why you're dressing and what you're dressing for you need to dress for function, you need to dress for protection but if you're a master plumber, master electrician and you want to have a uniform, you want to have clothing that not only is going to protect you when you get underneath that sink and you're next to that scalding hot pipe and you don't want to burn you but you also want that nice name tag with the company tag over here because whenever person on the other side of the door, you arrive early, they don't know you from Adam and you knock and you've got your toolbox and you you present yourself and they're looking at you through that peephole, they, you look like the plumber, you look like the electrician because then they're going to open the door. It's about trust ladies and gentlemen and with that, it's also about, so two things, trust and function. I've hit on both but uh, those would be the two things I'm zeroing in on and I think are important, Brent, for you and your family to send the signal of. Okay? Gentlemen, that's it. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. A little bit different from my normal fare but uh, I love answering your questions and uh, I will see you guys in the next video and if you want more, you know where to go. Real men, real style, guys that cover business skills, dressing skills, grooming skills, lifestyle, how to, you know, I'm going to be talking about how to decorate your house, furniture and things like that. So, uh, go check out Real Men Real Style. I really uh, have put up a lot of great content there and believe it or not, not all my videos have been turned into articles. So, there's over a thousand articles on that website. would really enjoy it if you go check it out. Take care. Bye-bye.